my name is Chai Neo. Uh, I will be, I've been with IBM for more than 25 years. I am currently the Managing Director of IBM Malaysia. As a mother, I have to say that uh, one of my biggest achievements is uh, seeing my children grow up to be fine adults. So that's certainly one aspect of my achievement. The other aspect of my achievement is that uh, I look at success not so much as you know, how much money one makes or you know, how big a car one, one drives. To me, achievement really is making a difference in the lives of the people that we touch. So my greatest achievements are many, many situations where I felt that I have helped someone reach their fullest potential. Uh, the definition of, of success for me is very different. You know, as I explained earlier on, it's about the lives that I touch. You know, I see a, a young uh, resource, a talent, you know, trying to uh, find himself or herself. And I feel like if I could make an impact and help him or her achieve a higher potential, maybe not the highest, but achieve his or hers higher potential, I would consider that a success. Well, I grew up in the household where my father gave equal opportunity to the daughters and the, the sons. What I hope for girls and women in Malaysia is that they will be given the same opportunities that I have been given when I was growing up. That they will be seen for what they can, uh, the value that they can add and they can, how they can contribute to the society and to organisations rather than you know, classifying them as girls or women. Hi, I'm Bernie Chan. Uh, I'm mainly an MC. I sometimes act and uh, I used to be a model. I think my greatest achievement up to now is being in the industry that I'm in for 30 years. My industry is an industry of fashion, entertainment. It's a world where your looks are basically um, your selling point. I, I realized when I first started working at the age of 18, no one's going, not everyone's going to like what you do. Not everyone's going to like your face. Not everyone's going to like the way you work or just like you as a person. And that is very much a part of my industry where rejection is very high. As a model, you may go for 10 auditions, you may get five, you may get two, or you may get eight, you may get all. Uh, when MC is concerned or an actor, I still go for castings as an actor. Out of five jobs, I may get one, I may get none. It's, it's never personal, it's all about work. Maybe you just don't fit the role. As an MC, yeah, I, I get questions all the time about, oh, how much do you charge or this and that, but it's up to the client to see if I am fit their profile for that particular event. So where achievements are concerned, this is my 30th year in the industry, which so I think that's an achievement enough because I'm still here, I'm still working a lot. I think I'm very blessed, but I've also worked very hard for what I've achieved and I still work very hard. Whatever field you do, whether you're the boss or whether you're not so high up in the ranks, it really doesn't matter. As long as you love it, you do your job with honesty, I think that to me is career success enough. In the next five years, I think Malaysian women should just stop saying, I can't. If you say you can't, you're telling the universe, you can't. So the universe isn't going to give you anything if you know, you're putting a block there already. Malaysian women should just step up and say, I'll think about it, let me process it and let me do it. Hello, my name is Lao Ngai Yuan, for brevity it's just Yuan, and I am the founder and president of Women Girls, which is an association that's called, in its long name, uh, Pertubuhan Pembangunan Kendiri Wanita dan Gadis, also president of Pakistan. For the impact to become Mayang itself, I think everywhere we showed it, everywhere we talk about it and we have conversation about it, on ground, what it does is that it created so many more conversations that they didn't think possible. And, and that's really necessary. And it needs to be a curated conversation, it needs to be a facilitated conversation. Otherwise, the conversation will just be a blaming one or a complaining one. So when it's a facilitated conversation, you will get to see that it becomes a lot more productive. And then the energy turns into, hey, I want to do something about this. And that is the point of becoming. How do you define success? I think it needs to be a question that is asked all the time but more importantly, ask when you are ready for it. But it's really difficult to say that I am successful. It's really difficult because I always feel like, oh my goodness, but there's so much more that I want to do, so much more that I want to try. I could fail here, 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 here. So success for me at this point is a moment 
It's a very quick moment that comes and it goes. I'm still trying to define it. I think Malaysian women really need to really understand that they have options and they need to actively seek out these options. I think we're given a lot of resources and we're not using it. We're not listening, we're not learning, we're not looking for options, we're not making things better. And I think we need to have that spirit, that I want to make things better. How do I do this? What can I do about this? That, that, that's missing. That needs to happen. And I think perhaps the easiest way is that schools need to ask these questions again to the children. I'm funny and I'm a woman. I am free, I'm a woman. I'm adventurous, I'm a woman. <laughs>